Hello everybody, this is Drew Moth for Sports Gamers Online, and today we're going to be covering some pitching tips for MLB The Show 19. Hopefully this video will help you understand pitching better, as well as make you a better MLB The Show 19 player. Now before we go any further, we need to select the method that we wish to use. So in MLB The Show 19, the very first thing we're going to be going over is the Classic. Classic is just selecting the pitch and hitting a pitch to place it. Here, I'm going to pick fastball. We're going to go inside up here with Mr. Justin Verlander. There we go. Right where I wanted to go. It is simple. You won't have much control over it, and the game will take over the pitch based on the range of your pitcher. There's not really too much to say about it, so let's move on. The next one we want to talk about is pulse. So pulse, well, it has a pulse. So when you're choosing the location, as you can see right there, it's pulsing. The smaller the pulse, the more accurate the pitch will be. We're going to go slightly outside here. That was a good one. All right. The good thing about pulse is that it's still pretty easy and gives you an idea where the pitch is going to go. You can also focus more on the game and don't have to worry about changing your timing with every pitcher's animation. It can also give you a slight better edge on defense because of that. Instead of being focused to play on some sort of meter or when you're placing the stick, you're just watching the game take place. Something noticeable with pulse is that with breaking balls, it tends to have a way bigger zone than fastballs. So we got 12-6 curve right there. A lot bigger, a lot faster. The next method is meter, which is probably what the majority of people use. It's also what I personally use. So meter pitching is where you aim your pitch and start the meter. So with meter, how fast it goes depends on the animation of your pitcher. The meter going to the left changes how much velocity the pitch will have, and it will also wear you out more. And the second is control and accuracy of the pitch. So we're gonna go fastball up high. We're gonna just use minimum for now. We'll try to compare speeds. So I missed a little early. A little early. So I missed a little early. 95. So let's go. Let's try it again. Try to get a better pitch here. Okay, that was very late. That was terrible. <laughs> so 94, 95. So if you go full speed, he hit that. How fast was it? 95. So as you see, it doesn't really do a whole lot for your velocity. So what I would recommend is not using full meter until late in the game or after someone on base. So what I personally do is for the first five to six innings, it's just hit minimum energy. I pretty much pretty much just double tap the pitch when I choose the location, and then I just focus really hard on the timing of release. Go so boom, look at that timing. Good timing. Beautiful slider down low in the zone. Look at that. Perfect pitch release. Now every pitcher will be different and most starting pitchers will have another animation when there is a guy on base. So we're going to do a quick show of that here. We're just going to create a play, put a runner on first. We're going to show you now. So, as you see a lot quicker, a lot faster, a lot more inaccurate. But because Verlander is good, we still got the out to center field. The last method is the analog method. So analog, probably the most difficult to master, but it also gives you the most control if you do master it. So with analog, we're gonna go take him off real quick. So with analog, what you gotta do is after you select your pitch, pull down the yellow bar and then push forward and trying to hit the location of where the rectile is on the plate. I don't know if I said that right, but we're gonna pretend I did. So you also may have noticed it was red. That means I went as fast as I most possibly could have gone. So the quicker I pull up, the faster the pitch is gonna be. So that was nice. So if I go similar pitch, I will go nice and slow this time. It was yellow, way up high. That was 95. You will most likely have less control if you do it really quick. But another perk to analog is being able to miss where you want. So, let's say I have it way over here. But if I want to miss, let's say I just want it right down the middle. Well, I don't have it mastered, so I miss the right naturally. But you get the idea. 
we're gonna go back to meter here because i want to point some out which not very many people know and i don't know if verlander will be a good one to show this off or not but we're gonna hope he is so the higher and more inside to the pitcher's hand the faster the ball will go so right there that was high inside we hit 96. if i go low should be slower well we'll see the velocity in a minute we'll get that guy out at first that was 96 so let's see if i can hit 97. that was 96 as well there was 97 all right so i missed that time but there you go 97 miles an hour that still works. I know it was in previous game. That was actually me testing it live for all you guys to see. So when pitching, you'll typically want to stick around the corners and the edges, and it's the hardest to get good contact on. So right now, 2-0. 2-0, you typically just want to get over. But I just want to show off right there. That's 2-1, because 2-0, you just want to get over the plate, but you don't want to leave it down the hard to plate, because if it's a high fastball, chances are that it's going to get hit really hard. You also want to mix up your speed. So I haven't been paying too close of attention, but I do know I just had a slider and a curveball in a similar spot. So I'm going to go fastball up high and outside. And he didn't swing. He didn't swing. This guy's not swinging anything. Good, good eye. That was 97. We're going to bring him back down low with a changeup. And he hit it. He was late on it, but it got by my, sec my third baseman. Or throw to second. Sometimes make a good pitch. You still get hit. So while we're here something that i'm sure most of you know but if you look at the runner on first or second or third wherever he is and come back you'll get your aiming back also press l1 can step off the mount that will quit whatever you're doing if you pick the wrong pitch you can revert back to, and start back over also you can press r2 and the catcher will give you suggestions so right now he wants a fastball outside i missed the spot a little bit but Regardless, so something kind of cool that I don't know if you'll be able to see here. If you say no, uh, it doesn't look like he did it there, but he usually will nod his head yes or no. Not really anything you know, that does anything for you, but it's kind of cool to see. see if I get this guy out. Look at, oh, I didn't get him out. So make sure you know what your pitches are and what they do. So here I got a fastball. This fastball is the most common pitch. Four seam fastball, can pretty much go anywhere. Don't really recommend hitting them over to the middle of the plate, especially on a 2 0. Got slider. Slider sweeps to the left, slightly goes down. That was a good slider right there. You typically want the slider go outside of the zone on the opposite side of your pitcher's hand. So if a guy is up to the plate, which is a righty, like right now, I want it down here. This is personally my favorite 2 0 pitch because I just feel like they swing and miss more. 12 6 curve. So a 12-6 curve pretty much just goes straight down. I'm going to show it off right here. See? Go straight down. I typically like this low. You do not want to leave it high. I'm going to try to leave it high right here for now. See what happens. Okay, got hit. I'm able to get to it regardless, but you typically don't want it to be high. And we got a change up. The so change up is good after you've thrown a lot of fastball. So I go fastball, fastball. Let's see if I can get him here. Fastball high. Was in the strike zone though. We can do that again. Nah, he's not swinging. Well, typically, if you do two good fastballs and go slow, he'll be way out in front of this changeup. But he did want to swing. He did want to swing. I just can't pitch, I guess. But those are just some of the pitch types in the game. There's a bunch of pitch types in the game, and I don't feel like going over every single one of them. I gave you a little bit of a hint right there. I can throw you some more, such as a curveball. It's typically the slowest for the pitcher, and it slips down away from the pitcher's hand. Keep it low, keep it in the corner, put it in the dirt. But those are the most common ones you're probably going to see. With that being said, like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for notifications next time we have a video. Comment down below what you think on my tips, I guess. And if you have any more tips, and tell me if they helped you at all. This is your boss. See you in MLB The Show 19.